Hey guys, it's DC here and today I want to explain to you why I use Windows at work. <laughs> It's probably one of the top questions I get asked, especially on my a day in the life of a SOC team lead uh, video. Uh, people basically asking me, why are you using Windows? You're not a real security person if you're using Windows. Um, you know, the, the conversation just sort of goes in this direction. I'm not sure who or when it was decided that Windows is not a good system to utilize the tools that you need for cybersecurity, but um, it seems to be like the general consensus. So I just wanted to make this video to quickly explain why we don't use Linux that much at work, or at least in my position. So I guess I'll start at the very beginning. I work for a government agency. In this particular government agency, there is a large SOC team. Now in governments here in Australia, they have a standard that you have to abide to and that's just part of the risk and compliance and I guess legal side of work. You don't get to choose basically is what I'm saying. You don't get to choose what you're using. You just use what you're told to use and that's pretty much the same in every government all across the world. So if you're expecting to sort of come out of college and go to work for some place as a cybersecurity professional and you, you're expecting that in that job you're going to get this like crazy hashing computer that's like Gen 2 or like Arch or something like that, it's not going to happen. <laughs> you're more than likely going to be using a Windows machine. Now they'll, they'll probably get you set up with like a virtual machine on your computer which will give you access to things like Kali or um, I don't know, any sort of Linux distro. And um, that's quite common, like in a VM, maybe not even on your local machine, more than likely on a server, they'll set you up with a, a VM that you can then access uh, whatever Linux distro it is to then get whatever that particular piece of work done. However, most of the job is almost guaranteed to be done through Windows like it's so common and when people sort of comment on that video saying why are you using Windows and uh, you know what's all this about why you know how do you call yourself a cybersecurity professional when you're using Windows and um, yeah I guess the answer is I don't have a choice if I had a choice I'd probably do all of my reporting in Office 365 online and um, I'd just use some sort of Debian distro throughout the day to, to get all my other shit done. And that's not really to say that like Linux is better or whatever, it's just what I feel comfortable using to quickly go in between different tasks. And that's fine. Other people prefer to use Mac. I use a Mac at home and that works perfectly for all the things I, I use it for there. And the same at work. Windows is going to do exactly what I need it to do as well. It's um, it's just you know the tool that's given to me, and that's all an operating system really is. It's it's a tool. So I guess like from a professional point of view, if you come into an organisation and some like a new guy coming in said, I don't want to use this Windows computer. I want something you know a little bit more serious. I want to use that like this. Arch or whatever, Arch is always the one that comes up with those sort of wankers. And I'm just gonna say, if you can't use the tools that are given to you, maybe this isn't the right job for you. If you're not able to utilize a you know, lesser operating system, maybe you should do something else. I can just imagine going into a risk and compliance meeting and telling those guys, oh look, we, em we employed this new guy, uh, Bob, and um, you know, I, I know there's all this like legalization about what systems we can use, but he just downright refuses to use Windows. So I, I set him up with Gentoo and um, he seems over the, over the moon about it. They're going to say, you're an idiot. <laughs> They'll probably fire me. They'll definitely fire Bob. And um, yeah, that'll be the end of, end of it. <laughs> 
it just doesn't matter. Just use what you're told to use and get the job done. But yeah, as I was saying before, it's pretty standard across the world that most places are going to be using a standard operating environment or a SOE. And in most of those SOEs, it's Windows. Unless you're working for like some weird design agency and, or some startup and they all insist on using, you know, MacBook Pros and iPads and shit like that. But you know, each organization's different, but majority, it's gonna be Windows. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all I had to say on that particular topic. If you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or concerns about Linux or, or Windows or OS X or whatever, drop me a comment below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this, where you can hear me ranting even more about people. Thanks guys, I'll catch you later.